One of the first things that you might notice when you come to the Ruth Patrick Science Education Center is our sundial system. Our sundial system is composed of two sundials. The smaller one is the Roman wedge, and the larger one is the Egyptian obelisk. When you build a patio like we have here, you need to put into the cement what's called expansion lines. If you don't, you'll get cracks in your cement. We worked with a construction company to put expansion lines in particular places. So these lines, here's one here, extending, another one over here, extending, are done in such a way that they mark hour lines for our sundial system. The hour lines are going back to the point where the Roman wedge the ground and extend outward at 15 degrees. 15 degrees is the equivalent of one hour of sundial. On our sundial, high noon is the time when the sun is highest in the sky. It shines directly down on the sundial, so in between the base, right in the middle, will be high noon. On either side of that will be the hour lines that we can measure. So we have 15 degrees from the shadow of the sundial, and those could be hour lines. For our sundial, halfway in between is the actual hour, and the lines themselves will be the half-hour lines. During the course of the year, the sun has different heights above the horizon. During the summer, our summer, the sun is highest up in the sky. During the winter, it is lowest in the sky. If you think of your body as a sundial, you can get an idea of where the sun's shadow will be cast. So if I point one hand up at the sun, and use my arms as a straight line and point down from the sun through my body, the lower arm is going to point where the shadow of our sundial would be. In this case, it's me. As the sun changes its position and height above the horizon over the course of a year, there are two special points of interest that we're going to discuss. The first is the first day of summer. We have a colored piece of cement that actually marks the first day of summer. So on June 21st or so, the shadow of our sundial, the tip to point of the shadow, will follow this line all the way during the course of the day. You'll notice that it's a curved line because of how the Earth is a sphere and where the sun's position is in the sky. There are two special times during the year, the equinox times. We have a vernal equinox and an autumnal equinox. The vernal equinox is our spring equinox. During the spring equinox, and you can tell we are near that right now because of where the shadow of the sundial is, the shadow will follow this line that I have down here in front of me. That line is a line where at that point, the first day of spring, which is where we are now, the sundial will follow that. The first day of spring is where we have 12 hours of, of day and 12 hours of night connected to each other all over planet Earth. follows that same line on the autumnal equinox, which is the first day of autumn or the first day of fall. On the first day of winter, the sun is lowest in the sky. As it is lowest in the sky, the shadow is going to point over to this curved portion of our patio. That curved portion all the way from the building, coming all the way down, we have a colored piece in the middle here, and curving all the way back in that direction is the line that the sun will follow, the shadow of the sun will follow, from our sundial. So our entire patio was built with the sundials in mind to show where the sun is in the sky, high and low, and also the hour lines during the course of 